I'm Eric Scripseth, and my project proposal is for a plan for a mine water and cold water evaluation of the Moshannon Creek watershed in central Pennsylvania. Moshannon Creek is a major tributary of the west branch of the Susquehanna River. Water flowing in Moshannon Creek eventually makes its way to the Chesapeake Bay. For much of its length, Moshannon Creek is the county line between Clearfield and Center counties in Pennsylvania. As its name implies, Center County is nearly in the middle of the state. The watershed of Moshannon Creek has many tributary streams that feed the main stem of Moshannon Creek. About half of the streams are considered non-attaining in the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection's lingo. This means the streams are impaired for one or more reasons. Most of these streams are impaired because of impacts from coal mining. Abandoned mines are mines that were mined before the Surface Mine Control and Reclamation Act of 1977 required reclaiming the mine and controlling its discharges. Mining started in the northeast corner of this watershed in about 1815, and it really took off in the 1850s with the arrival of the railroads. Many mines are considered abandoned. You may note that there seem to be underground and surface mines in the same places. There are. There are multiple layers in the local geology that have exploitable coal seams. There are places where there are surface mines and two or more underground mines stacked on top of each other. Mining continues today. Most modern mines are reclaimed and do a much better job of controlling their discharges. Abandoned underground mines have two main problems associated with them. Abandoned mine drainage discharges and coal mine waste piles. This screen shows one of the mine maps associated with the Morrisdale Coal Company mines at Hawk Run. The locations labeled shaft number one and shaft number three on this map were measured in the late 1960s to discharge more than 7 million gallons of abandoned mine drainage per day. This photograph is from the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection and it shows a collapsed mine entrance in Center County in the Meshannon Creek watershed and an associated flow of mine drainage. Mine drainage often doesn't look like this with an obvious source. Tainted water from a flooded mine can emerge as seeps in multiple places. Coal refuse piles, also known as gob piles, are piles of rock, sand, and fine coal that were separated from the lump coal before it was shipped. Water penetrating these piles can produce abandoned mine drainage, and these piles are very prone to catch fire, either from lightning strikes, exothermic reactions inside the piles, or human activity. When these piles are reclaimed, it is not uncommon to find multiple areas within them that have previously burned. Sometimes they find active fires when they pull these piles apart. Gob piles are mostly from underground mines. Surface mines tend to mix this material in with the mine spoil. They have their own problems. Unreclaimed surface mines expose rock layers that produce abandoned mine drainage, and the rough terrain traps most of the surface water that lands on it, 
and this, this then penetrates the mine spoil. This water then emerges as seeps of mine drainage in multiple places. It is difficult to capture and control all of the water that is escaping from unreclaimed surface mines. Multiple studies of the Mishannon Creek watershed have been done. Water quality was sampled as part of these studies. The sampling was concentrated in the mining impacted areas and even more concentrated in the areas that had recovery plans prepared. Much of the sampling data resides on the Susquehanna River Basin Commission's website. Some of some sampling data is also available through the U.S. Geological Survey. Much of this data is from 2010 or before. It is an open question how relevant this data is to current conditions in the watershed. It would save a great deal of effort if in places this data can be determined to be valuable and still relevant. Determining this is a big part of what this project is about. A lot has changed since many water samples have been taken. It is still visually obvious in many places in the watershed that streams are impaired by mine drainage. But to what degree is an open question. A lot of projects like this one have taken place this is the reclamation of a surface mine east of Grass Flat, Pennsylvania. Another question for the healthier sections of the watershed is the current water quality in the trout streams. Some of the streams have mining impacts and trout at the same time. These need special attention in this project to determine their current conditions. This is the proposed water sampling plan. There are 404 sample points in the Susquehanna River Basin Commission's water sampling data for this watershed. There are more in the U.S. Geological Survey data. With input from the project's external partners, we will select the best of these sample points to resample. And we will also select new points after pouring over the maps to sample that seem important, such as the downstream ends of sections with trout and streams with impaired classifications that don't have sample points showing in the current data. This plan will be used for grant applications for the water sampling. Once funds are obtained, the Mishannon Creek Watershed Association, hopefully with a lot of help, will use this plan to guide resampling the watershed and confirming conditions. The project will also use publicly available GIS data sets to identify possible risks to the trout streams. Especially, especially loss of stream buffers or areas where sedimentation may be a problem. The end goal of this project is to use the data to make improvements. Tom Clark of the Susquehanna River Basin Commission has said that Mishannon Creek is the largest discharge into the west branch of the Susquehanna. Rachel Kester of Trout Unlimited and the Coldwater Heritage Partnership has said that Mishannon Creek is arguably one of Pennsylvania's most abandoned mine drainage impaired streams. In the past, this has actually prevented some improvement projects because there were easier problems to solve elsewhere in Pennsylvania. The technology for treating mine drainage has improved. It is now time to update conditions in this watershed, and it is past time to use this data to plan and implement improvement projects within it.